On the screen, I have my letter ready to cut. I'm going to click on the scissors icon, and I see it in my preview window, and it's located the way it should be, and then I click on the scissors to cut. And now then on my cutter, you can see where I did my two test cuts, and I'm going to go online now and have it cut out uh, the letter from this really pretty sparkly vinyl that I'm going to put on my laptop. There, we're just doing the outside last. Okay, it's completed, and now then I will be stopping this video, and I will go ahead and weed out the um, the waste, and then put it on my laptop. Okay, here is the uh, the piece that I cut out, and I went ahead and I removed the waste around the the far outside. Now the way I'm going to apply this, and I can go ahead and try weeding it, but it's going to be really difficult because a lot of these lines in here, the detail is very, very, very fine. And I know I'm going to have a hard time getting it separated. So I'm going to use a trick that I picked up when I took an etching we uh, work weekend workshop with um, the owner of Etch All. Her name is Barbie, and she is just she had so many tips and tricks about doing etching and one of the things she taught us is that when you have a lot of fine detail like this go ahead and put your vinyl transfer tape across the entire thing transfer it over to the surface and you know in the case we were of course applying it to glass for etching in this case I'm just going to be applying it to my laptop but I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to my laptop and get it stuck down really well then I'm going to weed out the parts that I don't want in my design Okay, so I've applied uh, two strips of the transfer tape across my design, and then I'm going to just lift up my design. Now, if any part of the vinyl sticks to the backing sheet, then I will press it back down and make sure it all lifts up at one time. And uh, let me see. Oop. Okay, sorry about that. It's a little hard to do this video and, um, and, and actually do the application at the same time. But now then I have uh, the vinyl piece and I'm going to just put it right down here on my laptop. I'm going to position it and then I'm going to press down really, really well because I want the vinyl to stick to my laptop cover um, and then not to the transfer tape. And so then I just start peeling away and making sure that uh, none of the vinyl comes back up with the tape. And it looks very good. Okay, got that. And now then again, I'm just going to press, press, press. I want to make sure I have really, really good contact. Then I'm going to start weeding out the waste. Now one thing to note about when you're weeding, you might want to have your design up on your monitor still because it's going to be very hard to know what parts are to keep and what parts to toss out when you get into some of the detail like with the, the very fine lines and some of the, the flourishes and stuff. So with it up on the screen, I know that um, I plan to keep everything that is black and then discard anything here that's white. And I'm going to be using an awl, a very, a very sharp awl, and then also a pair of tweezers. Tweezers are very handy. And then also as you're pulling up, um, it's good to have a pair of scissors so that you can cut off little pieces as you're going because you don't want to be accumulating too much at one time as you're weeding it. So anyway, so with that then, I'm going to, again, I'm going to use this as my guide. I'm going to discard anything that's white. Also, when you get ready to pull up the parts, um, it's always good to pull in the middle. For example, up on the screen, I would be poking the all into the middle section of, you know, where I see this M, for example, not close to the edges. Now, in some cases, it's going to be hard because some of these are very thin. And so I will have to be very, very careful, but you don't want to inadvertently start poking holes into uh, the part that you want to keep. So again, you kind of you poke right into the middle part and start to lift up. And then also watch carefully because if parts come, uh, come up that you want to keep, you're going to have to kind of press it back down and push down on those parts. And that's where applying it first to the surface and then making sure you really press it down really well will help get that adhesion um, to, that, to that hard surface and make it easier to weed. 
Okay, this is my final result after I weeded out uh, the parts for the uh, for the cut that I did, and it looks really beautiful. This shiny or sparkly vinyl is just beautiful. Uh, it may not show up well in this video because it's actually silver vinyl on a gray background, but it looks really pretty in person. I did notice that you know I probably from so much etching that I do that you know I I actually removed the letters themselves and then kept this part, which is of course how you would do it when you're etching. Uh, the samples that were shown, you know, in the actual file would have been, have been exactly the opposite, that they would have, you know, cut the vinyl and kept the actual letters, that part, and not discarded it. So I did it this way, and I think it looks really pretty on my laptop. In fact, I liked it so much, I decided to cut a second one and put it on my other laptop, which is a Blue Dell laptop, and the sparkly silver vinyl just looks beautiful on it. So anyhow, I uh, hope this is interesting to everyone, and if you have any questions, you can post on my website, ilovekk.com.